Hello, so I wanted to do a little makeover video of my studio apartment because I absolutely love where Ryan and I live. It is perfect for just us two and our dog and it's just so cozy, it's near everything and I love it. So I wanna make it feel more like a home and this year I decided why not use part of my tax refund and invest in some quality pieces that eventually if I do end up moving somewhere, which I'm sure one day I will move to a larger space, I can have these pieces that I love and put them into my no, my no home, my new home. So over President's Day weekend, they had a major sale and I usually buy stuff from more of those like, you know how home goods is a discounted store of nicer items just because they're like the leftover stock that they get um, so there's a store online called Joss and Main and then there's one called Wayfair and things like Birch Lane I think they're all like sister companies of each other and they have really quality pieces at a discounted price and then on President's Day they had over the weekend a massive sale on top of those discounts so I was like all right if I'm gonna do this this is my time to invest and get a major discount upon a discount because furniture is very expensive. You know, nice pieces that you want to invest in are very expensive. But if I can get them at a discount, why the heck not? So I did and I wanted to show you guys what my place looks like before and because I'm sure many people who have studio apartments struggle with how to make it feel cozy because it's so small, um, extra storage and all that jazz. So I think decorating is an ever going process. You're always wanting to add things and change things as you grow and your style grows. And I wanted to do more of like a French country farmhouse pottery barn type style so that is what my style is in this home and I think it turned out really nice so let me show you the clips of what it looked like before and then I will go into what it looks like after and I'll link all the furniture down below but keep in mind that the pieces if you click on them the price is gonna probably look very different than what I paid for um, so maybe just wait if you want to unless you want to spend that kind of money go for it if it's cheap to you when you look at it um but yeah so let's get into the video i'm so excited so excuse the mess we're just kind of moving everything around but i remembered i wanted to do a before and after so i'm literally sitting here in the corner looking at my whole studio apartment there's Ryan and Stormy um so you walk in this is exactly what you see the bed is up against the wall then i have this little nightstand here I'm debating whether I want to move this off the wall and put a nightstand on the other side in order to make it for me so I can actually get out of bed instead of crawl over Ryan. That's the hallway there. This is my studio light for my YouTube. That's usually not there. I was just filming something. And then here's the TV stand that I want to change out. I got a TV stand with a fireplace, so this is going to look really cool here. Hopefully, eventually, I can put something up here. And then over here is the living room. We're gonna switch out the area rug because it just got so dirty. We got this area rug from Target and it just picks up dirt. Really, really, really picks up dirt. And it's extremely frustrating. Usually I don't have my microwave in here, but my outlet broke. And I have a really spacious kitchen, but only one outlet in there. This is what it looks like from over here. See, I have all this space right here. I was thinking if I don't get an extra stand, I could put like a little bench right here, maybe make this into a coat rack. I just need more space in here, so you know, I'm, I'm playing around. So you'll see if the final product at the end of this, but I'm gonna show you every section of my place before it's done. Then this dresser drawer just drives me nuts. I don't like the way it looks. It looks so bulky and manly. So I wanna do something to brighten it up in this area and hopefully get a mirror in there. All right, here is the before look of my living room, and now the after. Isn't it just so much more spacious? I don't know, maybe I'm only the one who can notice, but having this larger area rug, I feel like really stretches out the living room. And this is from Josh and Maine, and I just think the colors are so beautiful and neutral and very French country. This mirror is gonna eventually hang where that mural is, and I'm gonna put botanical prints on the sides, and then over to the left where all that space is. I need to fill it with something. I'm just not quite sure what I wanna do yet, um, but the mirror is so beautiful. It's nice and gold, which I love. I love, love gold, but this space just really needs something, and I can't figure out what I wanna do. 
And then I used the two pillows that I already had, the white and the beige, and I went to TJ Maxx, actually, sorry, no, Marshalls, and I got these beautiful, soft, like, grayish blue colored throw pillows, and I love them. They're larger. I just think it adds nice dimension. And then my little coffee table tray is from Hearth in Hand from Magnolia. This is one of my favorite candles right now from Bath & Body Works. And then the TV stand before and after just blows my mind. I just love how clean it looks. All the DVDs are put away and hidden in these little cabinets right here. And the fireplace, you guys, the fireplace. I wanted a fireplace so badly. So I'm just showing you my storage in here. I'm still like organizing it. But guys, the fireplace, it's an electric fireplace. Obviously, it's not real, but it looks real enough for me to give me a good ambiance and make me feel comfy cozy. And it's actually a heater as well. So heat does come out or you can just set the ambiance mode on it. And I just love it. Now for the before and after of my bed area. Look how much better it looks. I don't know why it's taking me so long to move that bed off the wall, but I love how it turned out and I can actually get off the bed and not crawl over Ryan to go to the bathroom. So we got new nightstands, new lamps, this cute little art piece, which is very like French country-esque. And of course I kept my twinkle lights. I use the same headboard that I had before. I don't love that headboard. I like it, but like I don't love it, but it's doable. And then I got these really pretty lamps from Home Depot. My Texas house on Instagram actually shared those on her page and I just had to grab them because they're adorable. And these nightstands are also so, so nice. And gosh, nightstands are expensive, you guys. Now over here I decided to put another shelf and I'm going to add probably some kind of decor to it. I don't know what quite yet. We can put our keys on here. I just think it's so stunning. Just the detailing in the shelf is amazing. I surprisingly got that from Home Depot. I also got this little area rug for the front door so that people can walk on it and not get dirt all over the place and it matches the one in my living room. They are both from Josh and Maine and they're so cute. And look how cozy my bed looks. I just want to hop on in. I just love how it all turned out. And then over here, it looks kind of the same from what you saw from my before video. I really want to do a before and after DIY project with this dresser, so hopefully that video will be coming to you guys soon. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little tweaks and ideas of styling my studio apartment. And, you know, it's always changing. Like I said, sometimes, I don't know, I just feel like when you decorate your home, you always see new things and you want to switch things out or you know, change things around. So this is an ever going process and I also have a shelf coming to go above here, which will be here next week. And I just wanted to film this video. So throughout the process, I will be showing you guys what I'm changing and what I'm updating. And um, I'm gonna show you guys our kitchen up update renovation because I'm also redoing our kitchen because we need to add more shelving since we have a bridal shower, or I have a bridal shower coming up and I'm gonna be getting a lot more items. I just wanna make sure that we have places to store them so that we can use them and yeah. Oh, and on top of the kitchen renovation, I also, not renovation, it's really not renovating things, it's just adding things into the kitchen. Um, I wanna do a video on how I DIY my dresser over here because I've never done that before and I'm excited because it's with chalk paint and I've heard great things about chalk paint so you know I'll take you along for the ride and hopefully I don't mess up so that will be coming to you guys in your near future don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and I have so many other videos that aren't just makeover videos I have beauty I have product reviews I have it all so keep up with me hit that subscribe button click the bell if you want to get notified and I'll see you in my next video bye guys